Hello, Dr. Mintz here. Uh, this is a, a CT without IV contrast uh, on a patient that has hematuria and pelvic pain. And I'll give you a quick overview here. Kind of look and see if anything catches your eye. I know that's fast, but gives you an idea a little bit of what's going on perhaps. And you see multiple cysts in the kidneys. You see this non-obstructive stone in the upper pole of the left kidney. How do the adrenal glands look? They look fine. That looks fine. That looks fine. Okay, so there's no obstructive uropathy. The renal collecting systems are not dilated. There is a component of malrotation. You see how the renal hilum is pointed anteriorly or anteromedially on each side. Just an inst a, a, a finding that's probably not related to the patient's problems at all. Incidental finding. Get down into the pelvis here. The bladder, well, you can't really see much in there, but it doesn't look quite right because its attenuation is not that of fluid. Urine, it should be water attenuation. So the uh, radiologist looking at this went ahead and did IV contrast, and sure enough, you can see there's an abnormality there, a filling defect in the anterior portion of the, pel of the, the bladder. And what would this be? Well, this is soft tissue mass anteriorly in the urinary bladder creating a filling defect, and that suggests a bladder tumor. What's the most likely bladder tumor that you will see? Transitional cell carcinoma, much more likely than squamous cell carcinoma. Now, squamous uh, cell carcinoma can occur, but transitional cell occurs much more frequently. The bladder, ureters, and renal collecting systems are both are all lined with Transitional cell epithelium, transitional epithelium, rather, and hence that is the tissue type that is most likely to develop. When you have a bladder tumor and it's transitional cell, uncommonly you will also see a transitional cell carcinoma of the ureter or renal collecting system, not present in this case. On the other hand, if you have a transitional cell carcinoma of the renal pelvis or ureter, it's fairly common to also see a transitional cell tumor in the urinary bladder, and that's because they, propo they propose that that reflects drop metastases, that cells actually drop down from the renal collecting system or, ur or ureter into the bladder. So here you see that filling defect. Let's see if coronal images are at all helpful in demonstrating that well it's in the front so here you can see there's the soft tissue mass there and then you go back farther and you're into the bladder but it doesn't really help us in the depiction of the tumor and its extent the sagittal images however i think give you a little bit of an idea of how big that tumor is and where it is and what its extent is so that could be a little helpful there and in this case, I think it was a body imaging specialist that decided to go ahead and get these magnification views of the kidneys looking for a collecting system tumor, which may be present, as I mentioned, in association with a bladder tumor. So this is a transitional cell carcinoma of the bladder without any associated tumors in the kidneys, but incidentally, uh, several large renal cysts and malrotation, a component of malrotation in both kidneys.